Hey guys, welcome back to a, another tutorial. And um, today I'm going to be teaching you some of the basics of modeling. Um, I won't be doing like I won't be going into depth with this because really I've been doing this <laughs> for a few hours. I've just been like being inspired by reflex designing and Pero, and I've just been like trying to be well, trying to become like them, but it's never going to happen. But yeah, I just thought I'd bring you the basics of um, modeling. So yeah, first you want to go to your shapes tool and go to tube. Um, why I use tube? Tube is like, it's just an easy thing to model with, I guess. And it's just, I, I'd say it's the easiest thing to model with anyway. Um, so yeah, you want to bring down the inner radius. So it's about 145. Um, and you want to rotate it, holding shift, dragging it or vertical thing down, yeah. And um, so it, it, it's on its front. And then the, what what segments do? Segments the, you can use them for moving out of shape, I guess, and uh, and for having segments when you're modeling. So you want to put the cap segments to about 5, the rotation segments to 36, and put the outer radius to 200. Um, height doesn't really matter because just put height segments to 3 for now. Right, so now you want to press C and uh, it makes this layer editable and I'm just going to show you what stuff does so if you come to the live selection tool here click the box with the orange top and the mouse cursor and go to select you want to go to loop selection and what that does is you can select like across and if you go to a line it goes around that way and if you hold shift you can actually See, if you don't do shift, it deletes that layer and puts the new one. Where if you hold shift, it puts them both there. So now, what you want to do is, if you click, if you right click, you can have bevel, extrude, inner extrude, matrix extrude. Um, what extrude does is, if you pull, or well, no, if you push, it brings your selected areas out. Uh, press Control Z to get rid of that. Um, extrude inner. If you pull in words, it makes the lines that you have selected go like to a thinner um, kind of line, I guess. And if you control Z again, you can go to matrix extrude, and this is where it's all fun. <laughs> this you can have you can have so many ideas with this and be serious, but yeah. Um, Fat. Yeah, we'll use matrix extrude. So I'm gonna put. I'm gonna get rid of this. Right. So uh, first, I'm going to matrix extrude outwards and bring the rotation. So it's to about 15. Um. Like I said, I'm not the best modeler in the world, so you can always change what you want. Um, go to your live selection tool, and this time don't press shift after you do this, or else it'll go all weird. Um, click and go to... In fact, no. Do select each individual segment, so don't go to loop selection. Um, get rid of all them, and don't hold shift and click, and then carry on holding shift and doing it. Because if you do, if you if you, wait, if you click and scroll back, you can change the size of your um, like selection tool. So we're gonna do one, skip one, do one. And after you've done that, you can go to extrude, bring it out a little bit. Extrude inner and extrude inwards. Yeah, let's go in with it. 
Um, let's go inwards for a little bit. You want to try and get as much detail as you can in this because if when it, after it's rendered, it'll look super good. And the more detail, obviously, it makes you look everything. Makes you look really good. Um, but bring it down again, holding shift to 90 degrees. Um, make this. In fact, you didn't have to do that. Come to your cylinder and go to radius. And try and fit it. In fact, leave. In fact, you don't have to try. It's perfect. So if you just go to the radius of 130, that is fine. And um, let's try and bring down the height so it's the exact same. So there, uh, and now I, I've, I've started to like doing this. Um, you can bring down. You go to caps and fillet cap. You want to put the fillet cap to about twelve, and then press C to make it editable, and um, go all the way around here without holding shift, and extrude. Oh. Control Z, extrude a little bit out. I've I've not planned this tutorial, guys. By the way, so <laughs> this could come out really bad. Um, and then select one, skip one, select one, skip one. Matrix extrude, and you want to bring the rotation down. And you can kind of make like a bullet, I guess, like a drill end. And if you change these, everything not everything changes. So yeah, I'm liking that. Um, for colors, I'm I'm really not good with colors. Um, a guy who I like get inspired for modeling is reflex designing um, he is really talented in this kind of area so if I was you I'd go check out him he's got some amazing modeling videos on his channel and in his portfolio so yeah um, I'm gonna render this I'm gonna pause it render it and after I've unpaused oh, after it's rendered I'll start playing again so there you go after it's rendered um, it looks pretty good um, so yeah if you haven't got this Lightroom I'd suggest going to Reflex Designing's channel and finding the Lightroom I'm not going to post the download link because that would be copyright but I will tell you where to get it from Just um, I'll put his link in the description of course but yeah so yeah guys hope you like uh, please comment what you think and tell me some new stuff I guess to be doing on my channel because <laughs> I am running out of ideas. <laughs> Alright guys. Adios motherfuckers.